which my beliefs, perseverance is your key to the impossible. So thank you guys for doing this cool uh, bit about me video. It's so awesome of you guys to be here. The first one of 2016, part of the first three videos of 2016. So I want to say thank you guys for viewing this video. Happy New Year's. And let's get right into it. So this uh, bit about me is part of uh, the five cold hard facts you need to know going into 2016. Today is day five. So it's the final day of this. And um, so basically we today we are talking about like opportunities and getting opportunities and acknowledging that there's going to be opportunities this 2016 for you guys to do greatness and you guys to do different things. Now, um, th this is for my bit about me. I want to explain, you know, cause I, in my, in my uh, tip of the day video, I, I acknowledge that there's going to be, be, um, opportunities and, uh, and, uh, good, good ideas to think about when you're, you know, going into the new year. The question of the day was all about how to get those opportunities and some ideas of some things you can start trying out to reach out to different people and show that you're looking for opportunities. Now I want to tell you guys kind of on a personal level, my personal thoughts as to how I've gotten some of my major opportunities. And it's really, really fascinating to me. I mean, I, I never thought I would say that, but you see, when I started out, I started out with my Facebook. I've started out with Facebook for a long, long time. You know, I've grown by, I've grown by knowing friends and then having friends and then knowing friends that know other friends and then connecting and then growing my community as well as, you know, family and, um, you know, new people I've met, you know, in groups, uh, as, and I'm just saying for Facebook, just so you're well aware, cause there's a whole ton of stuff to cover in this specific thing for me but basically I continued to grow I got connected to groups I got friends from groups they continued to grow and grow and grow I kept speaking um you know putting posts out putting photos out putting videos out putting text out you know of how passionate I am about art and wh why I do it and my stories and my thoughts and uh, you know it's grown to to today um you know in that relation is that i've had a lot of friends who've been coming from those groups or known people from those groups who saw my posts because they shared them in some form on social media they're like hey i want to do collaboration with you i want to work with you i want to learn about you i want to ask you questions i want to become your friend this is how you 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 start projecting yourself to get opportunities because people it all starts with asking questions it all starts with asking questions. People are going to ask you, hey, what's your story? Why do you like doing what you're doing? You know, why do you do it? You know, and, and I would I would explain it to them. And I would I would do it so in a very, very nice and simple manner. And people would get, you know, inspired and motivated by it and feel like, oh, my God, I got to, you know, I got to work with this guy because he's so cool. And, um, you know, and this is how, tw you know, Twitter started. Twitter got connected to Facebook. That was my next um, connection is that I started using Facebook with Twitter. I started tweeting out my links and my posts and my photos and videos and all these different things. And thus that exploded. I started getting contacts on there. I started getting emails. I started working with new people, collaborations, pixel art tribute videos, YouTube. And then, yeah, like I said, YouTube came up next. YouTube started making videos every day, started making art videos, time-lapse videos, tip of the day videos, book of the day Book, book update videos, channel update videos, all these different things. It kept on going and growing and growing and it's continuing to grow and grow and grow. And it's all because I took the action and I decided, you know, I got to put myself out there. I got to tell my story. I got to show my art. I got to tell about my art. I got to tell people why I'm so passionate about what I'm doing and, you know, why they should be a part of it. And, you know, it's, 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 gotten me to a lot of incredible places like um you know i've i've worked with some of the best youtubers for pixel art tribute videos i've uh worked with a couple of different musicians i've i'm going to work with a college student this this year in 2016 i've been working for a late night tv show called on the fly as a blind movie reviewer it's it's crazy it's crazy guys but it's possible you guys can do it i'm not saying this to brag i'm saying this that you can do it you can go out there and do stuff like this too if you just understand that you know, you are an awesome person and you can put yourself out there. You can do anything. Okay. And this came, this, this, this social media, this art, all of it, everything came from a very, very difficult time when I was losing, you know, when I, when I started to lose my vision. And, um, for those of you who don't know, I'm normally, uh, I'm normally, you know, the, before all this happened, I was, um, 20 over 80 to 20 over 100 in my left eye and I've been completely blind in my right for all my life and now I've considerably lost vision over the last three and a half fish or so years 
and um, I'm at less than 20 over 1600 vision acuity in my left eye and yet I'm still doing my art and I'm still doing these things despite my blindness but it all started out when when I was losing my blindness as a coping mechanism it started turning into putting my my thoughts online to sharing my story to sharing my videos sharing my art then it kept going and going and growing people started getting inspired people started getting passionate about it people started following and thus it's grown to today which is the hashtag perseverance movement at 18,000 followers um subscribers people community members i mean i don't want to seem it as to like i'm the head uh you know just because it's my social media networks that's not what i want i want to be seen as a person in the community with everybody else because we are all awesome people and i am no better than everybody else so um it's it's been a ride it's been a ride getting here to 2016 and i'm i'm looking for an even crazier one this year so um you know like i said just just believe okay you can do it you you can persevere through your challenges you can do the impossible you can put very passionate stuff out there and it, you will get opportunities it might take a little bit of time it takes a little bit of time it takes a little bit of work i'm not gonna lie but you know it if you put in the time and the effort you you never know what could happen so um it, you know, I guess that's pretty much it for this <laughs> bit about me video. If you guys enjoyed it or got something sparked by it or liked it or anything, like, favorite, share the video, subscribe if you're not subscribed. It's more great content coming out, and I still want you to miss it. Otherwise, remember the perseverance is your key to the impossible. I want to say thank you guys for doing this cool bit about me video. It's the first one of 2016, and I look to many more. And I will see you guys in Saturday's videos, which will be the first art-related videos of 2016 tomorrow at 10 a.m. So, see you later.